Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Bushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. This week I'm going to talk a little around water indicating tree species. Sourcing water is always going to be important in a bushcraft, survival, general, outdoor scenario. And so there are some tree species, plant species, animal species that can guide us uh, in terms of what direction we go or, or that can give us a clue to tell us that there may be water present. So today I wanted to look at um, tree species that serve as water indicators. So the one I'm stood to right next to at the moment is alder. So very, very commonly found near water. In terms of the identification, if we kind of go with the leaf, the leaf is very similar to that of a hazel. There are two kind of key differences, however. Alder tends to have a much glossier leaf and also has sort of a slight indent here whereas a hazel leaf has a very pronounced um, tip pointy tip on the end so those two things glossy leaf indent rather than tip another good identification feature with with alder are these catkins so these are female catkins they're very um, dense these are going to open up and, uh, and release the seeds when they've done that they turn quite woody looking quite brown they look very similar to a cone the kind of thing that you would find on a pine or a spruce for instance uh, so if you find a deciduous tree with something growing on it that looks like a pine cone then there's a very very good chance that you have found alder This time I'm stood next to a willow. Uh, there are many different species of willow that will grow in the, the British Isles. They can get a little tricky, they, they will hybridise, those hybrids can hybridise with other hybrids. So for me, typically I'm just kind of go with willow and leave it at that. There is an exception to willow as a water indicator, however, uh, and that's goat willow. So goat willow will grow pretty much uh, anywhere so if you see a goat willow it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you're going to be close to water. Other willow species almost certainly that's the case. The third water indicating species I want to look at is poplar. So poplar much like willow will hybridize and those hybrids can hybridize and again they can get tricky to understand what they are. Um, actually poplar is in the same um, Salix family as willow. So yeah with poplar again I'm just going to go with it's a poplar and leave it at that. Um, one of the things with poplar as a water indicating species the leaves actually have a flat stem on them and so when there's a breeze they kind of flutter up and down uh, and they actually sound like water kind of trickling over pebbles so you can often hear poplar before you can see them or sometimes you can hear them before you can see them and that's going to give you the the idea that it would be a good place to head to try to find your water whilst the alder, the poplar, the willow that we've looked at um, so far have actually all been growing very close to a, a lovely little stream just off to the side, that may not always be the case. So it, it may be that the water they're indicating is actually groundwater. So we may not have that moving surface water. Um, it may be that the water is just below the surface. So in that kind of situation, that may be where you decide to dig um, some kind of ground well to source your water. I hope that's something that you uh, are going to be able to use in your own bushcraft adventures, something that is of use to you. I will endeavour to get more content out 
next week. Uh, don't miss out on that. You can subscribe either to our YouTube channel or to our blog, both of which are Jack Brave and Bushcraft. Um, in the meantime, take care.